What's good to the tribe? I don't know if any of you guys have heard, but ghost DNA. Let's talk about it a little bit. It says about 50,000 years ago, ancient humans in what is now West Africa apparently procreated with another group of ancient humans that scientists didn't know existed. There aren't any bones or ancient DNA to prove it, but researchers say the evidence is in the genes of modern West Africans. <laughs> and I want you guys to read these articles I drop and really tell me what you guys get out of it. So it's no evidence, no bones, nothing. To really prove this. But you're saying. That West Africans. Procreated. Or had relations. With another species. And one thing about this. Why are we hearing other people talk about this? It came out the beginning of the year. Ghost DNA. You know, we hear the the Pan-Africans talk about DNA a lot. So they should be studied on this. They should really know what's going on. Because they always say the DNA is real, right? So I'm saying this. If the DNA is real, does that mean there's an older species out there than an African? And what is this older species? Can you tell us? And it says they were around the same time as Neanderthals that were breeding with modern humans. So why aren't any so-called Pan-Africans talking about this? Is it because they say All life is, is stemming from them. It's stemming from a real African culture. I'll ask this right. When they promote DNA tests, do you think they promote it a lot in Africa or do you think they promote it a lot here? And just a question. Who are the main people they're trying to connect people back with? Who are the main people they're trying to sell these DNA tests to? To find out who they are and who their relatives are. Just a question. But go through these articles. Make sure you read it. It says also DNA found in the study comes from multiple groups. Within Africa, we don't know how many archaic groups may have been involved. And study doesn't tell us that, she says. It tells us that they were integration. But it could have been from more than one archaic population in theory. So I'm saying this again. Was there a different being than an African that popped up first? Or who was it? You tell us, Pan-Africans. So I'm still trying to understand this right now. And none of you guys are explaining what's going on. If you even know this exists, but you speak on DNA so, so well. It says the conditions might have been right for fossils in total, totally disintegrate in order to recover DNA. It 
says four West African populations carry genes from what may be undiscovered archaic hominins. It says before these lineages split 800,000 years ago. But one thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop the links in the description box. Make sure you guys check it out. But I just wanted you guys to have a, a good laugh for the day. On this Saturday day and make sure you're still researching and doing your genealogy make sure you're still going relative for relative because this DNA is a bunch of shit and we can see it in these articles in the hijacks they put in these articles that they're giving us But I want you guys to be able to catch the hijacks and be able to put it in the actual comments and tell me what you're getting out of this. But I love you guys. And like I say, links will be in the description tab. You already know what time it is. Wanagi, AKA Ghost. You want to support the channel? It's in the description tab. Feathers up, tribe up, wise up, rise up. And for all you American Indians, originals, aboriginals, or whatever you want to call yourself, this is what I tell you. You are not the father. <laughs> Perfect.